So we found that um, as bushes expand into the Arctic and change the ecosystems there, uh, we found that the higher quality carbon input that they provide has uh, changed the type of decomposition that the microbes are doing. So they're changing uh, what they target the microbes. And instead of decomposing general soil organic matter, um, they're specifically targeting the nutrient-rich portions of the soil organic matter. And the cost of this is that they degrade a smaller quantity of the soil organic matter, meaning that possibly this could provide a, a negative feedback to climate warming. Um, so I was working with this uh, Danish group that have long-term field experiments set up in, in the Arctic or in the Swedish Arctic close to the Jabisco region. Um, and what they have done there is they've simulated the expansion of bushes into the Arctic by adding litter or warming the soils. And in these field treatments we investigated how um, a further expansion of, of bushes and the root exudate that those bushes provide um, will change the type of microbial decomposition that you have there. And our way of simulating the root exudates was actually adding small quantities of sugar to see how that changed the soil organic matter decomposition. So the first priority is trying to find out how uh, will microbial use of soil organic matter actually change? We, we're able to extrapolate from our results, but we haven't actually measured anything long term yet. So that's priority one. Um, and then if we write in our ex extrapolation, that would suggest that we will have a buildup of carbon in these systems, which then would act as a store of carbon for, uh, soil, uh, for carbon dioxide leaving the atmosphere and then uh, in the Arctic acting more as a carbon sink or a stronger carbon sink than previously.